So what I want to show first is actually the um, certificate itself. So here I am. I'm on the Orion Polar. It's running IIS. I go down to server certificates. And there you can see Leon's friendly certificate. That looks great. So that's a server role certificate installed on this machine. And so that, that would either be like if you only had one primary Polar, it would be on that instance. If you had multiple web servers, it would be on each one of those. Correct. Okay. And it is obviously self-signed. Got it. Um, and it could be a wildcard certificate. I mean, it doesn't matter how you're using it. It's supported no matter what. So the only your mileage may vary thing is if it's self-signed, you may not get a nice green padlock in the bar, but you're right. at least going to be able to ensure that you are using encrypted connections. Right, you to are the using that, that SSL protocol. So there we are, and that's it. Um, when I go into the uh, Orion configuration wizard, mm -hmm. I just want to adjust the website. I don't need to update the database. I don't need to update my services. Right here, I do not want to skip the website binding. I want to enable HTTPS. And look at that! There's Leon's friendly certificate. There's a couple, there might be some other ones. I could actually generate another self-signed right from there and say next. And yep, I know. It's going to bind and say next, and it's going to go through the rest of the process. And it's an example of how many steps there are in the installer and the configuration wizard here that really are magic, right? Yeah. And it's doing a ton <laughs> for you. Now, I mean, if you've done this manually, if you've applied certificates to uh, an IIS instance, it's, it, it, it's not that hard. It takes a few manual steps. But again, this is the kind of thing that the configuration wizard is designed to make sure that it automates so it happens repeatedly every single time you do it. Exactly. So this is really exciting. The configuration wizard is sort of you know, grinding all the bits together and everything. I can't wait for it to finish. All right, so we're going to log in and see how it goes. All right, so here we are. HTTPS slash uh, colon slash slash 10.110.69.72. Here we go. Fingers crossed. And connection's not private, but that means that I can proceed because you've chosen to be unsafe and not sign it. Yes, you I am. You probably do that. I wanted a certificate that said Leon's friendly certificate. Because this makes everybody open a help desk ticket. I know it does, but it was what I had. Uh, OK, yes, you should use a regular signed certificate. You're absolutely right. All right, I admit it. OK, so there we go. SSL certificates, single sign-on certificates, secure, happy and relatively easy to set up. So securing Orion Platform 101, that's what that looks like. That sets SSL and SSO. And of course, make sure you check out the uh, Customer Success Center, which is support.solowins.com. And there's uh, how-tos that'll walk you through all of that. Yeah.